everybody. Welcome back to the world of me. My name is Cougar, and this is another episode from the Crate Club series that I call TAC. I obviously, if you noticed when this one's released, it is rather late. And uh, that's being because something came up, I guess, with the product that he was putting in this month's box. And so it came in very late. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll find out what this one is and hopefully it'll be something that was worth the wait. This time, as you can see, it came in a different box a little bit. Usually it's a plain brown box. Now it is uh, a black box and it's black on black lettering. So I ha I really don't know that you guys will be able to see up here. It does have uh, the Crate Club logo and says Crate Club on it, as well as the uh, logo that's across the back here. It's 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 very hard to see without there being like just the right kind of reflective uh, glare on it. Uh, so let's go ahead, find out what's inside and see if it's actually worth the wait this time. All right, so here we go. We got actually a pretty good selection of things in here. Uh, I'm actually, I am surprised this time. Uh, one thing I did notice is they, they obviously, they stepped up the box a little bit by putting the coating on it and trying to make it a little more custom to their company. They included some wrapping here and, uh, you know, instead of the basic black um, dead Easter bunny kind of confetti that was inside, it actually looks more like camouflage uh, with some red, or excuse me, with some green and some uh, black mixed in there. So that kind of stepped it up. So that's kind of cool, but that's not what we got this box for. We got this box for this stuff right here. Um, I'm going to go with the really simple whatever, and they got another patch. Okay, got a patch in the first one. Now this one obviously is a Crate Club patch, and it has the snake there standing for the Snake Eaters Union. So um, it is, of course, the uh, the uh, Velcro style patch. So of course you can take this backing and uh, put it on something, and you can pull this one on and off. Uh, the other one, I believe, is roughly the same size, so you could probably switch these out if you wanted to or whatever. Now we've got a little tin here. Uh, let's see what this says. It says Candle Tin. Exo Track is the brand name, and it says Four Hour Nano. One wick, 100% beeswax. So let's go ahead and unscrew it, and there you go. There is a simple candle in there. Doesn't doesn't have any particular smell, it just, just the smell kind of, of beeswax. It does say Made in the USA. And that is, again, this is from Exotac, E-X-O-T-A-C, uh, and that's .com if you want to uh, go check out their products or anything. Um, that's what that is. Now here is another one, again, from Exotac, and this says Tinder Tin, Fire Starting Tinder, Flatwood Shavings. Let's open this up, and hopefully I don't make a mess with it. And as they said, flat wood shavings, a few of them fell out there. And that's, that's exactly what it is. It's just basically, um, it, it looks like they scraped up the floor from the bottom of uh, somebody's woodworking shop and packed it into a tin. And, you know, you use that for, for your fire, starting your fires, you know, tinder and everything, which obviously is good. It's definitely something you want to have. Camping situation, uh, a shit hits the fan situation, things like that where you have to go out on your own or whatever. Um, definitely a good thing to have. Uh, I definitely don't contest that. Well, it says Tinder right on the bottom of it. And uh, on the side it says Tinder Zip, Emergency Zipper Pull. Emergency Tinder Zipper Pull, excuse me. And then it says Flammable Core, uh, Fire Starting Tinder water resistant treated core so obviously you can see these are simple zipper pulls that you can uh, you can put on any type of zipper be it uh, on your jackets uh, sometimes you have them on the sleeves and stuff like that pockets or heck even your pant zipper depending on if it's a large enough one or not basically you can pull the ends off here and disassemble it and you can pull the core out and the core is supposed to be what you're what you're going to use for tinder and then uh you just take and you fluff it in. It says fluff it up into a cotton ball consistency and then you can use it to uh, help start your fire. So there you go there. Now we've got an actual fire starter, a little bit of a kit there. Uh, this again, uh, all of this stuff is from Exotac. So I didn't mention that with this, but you know they are all from Exotac. Um, 
This one says Nano Spark. It says one hand sparker and that it's waterproof. Uh, it says you can carry it on your keychain. It is a one handed use, it is waterproof. Uh, uh, tinder capsule which I'm guessing is this thing inside and I definitely think I'm gonna open this I'm not gonna worry about that one there uh, it is a uh, alum CNC aluminum um, so very much like a lot of the uh, flashlights that we get there they're, they're uh, machined aluminum uh, and so they you know they're pretty decent nice nice uh, nice quality that way at least and then it has these uh, quick light uh, little pieces of tinder right here little little cotton rope type looking things that of course you can fluff them all out and uh, and uh, you know use them to burn it shows a breakdown of everything on the back it has a flint wheel and some flint it has uh, a section for a lanyard or a keychain uh, there is an o-ring in there to help seal it uh, that's where the water tight I'm sure comes from there is um, it says a flint replacement thumb screw, so uh, obviously you should be able to replace this. So this would work similar to a lighter, only you you don't have a wick that you're going to burn from. This is just going to be what starts the fire. Uh, then this this part here at the bottom is going to be your tinder cap uh, tinder capsule, and then it also has a uh, bit of a textured outside there to hold on to, so you can get a good purchase on it. Go ahead and open this up. Oh, there you go. So it does have one already in there. Um, uses a little, okay, uses a little wire right here to hold that in. So when you pull it out, it's not stuck in the bottom. That's a great idea. I'm glad I can, I see that because I can only imagine how hard it would be to pull that out of the bottom of this. Uh, so, uh, then you've got your little thumb screw down here and, uh, the, uh, flint would be inside. I'm not going to go ahead and disassemble that completely. The grip on it, Definitely can get a grip on it, but it doesn't feel like it's going to like dig into your skin and tear you up or anything like that. So it could easily, I, I think it's something that you could easily drop in your pocket and you don't have to worry about it, you know, rip it into your pants or, or uh, shorts or whatever um, that you're wearing. And, uh, and then we've got the little sparker wheel. So, wow, that's, wow, that's pretty nice. That, that digs in there pretty good. It's a pretty ragged wheel, so it, it seems to uh, grab pretty good. Um, yeah, I, yeah this, this, this would be really, I think this would be really easy to start a fire with. That kind of spark on that. I mean, it doesn't throw it out real far, but you don't need it to because, I mean, when you're getting it started, you can really get in there and start getting stuff uh, uh, sparked up and everything and then let it build from there. I will say I do like this. This is, this is very nice. Um, one thing I wish, one thing I wish, I wish that there was a cap that went over top of the wheel, like something covered the wheel. My only, that, that would be the only thing I would say for like an improvement. Now here's the last one, and uh, this is the big one. I was decided to go ahead and just kind of wait for that. Uh, this one does say on the front here, it says Uncle Henry. Um, and then it says on the side, BTI Tools Limited. So uh, I'm sure BTI Tools is going to be the company that uh, makes this. And it does have a number here. I'm going to guess this is possibly a phone number uh, that's on the side there. And I'll just kind of present it right there. And if you guys really want to worry about it, you can, you can call them if you want or see what it is. Um, then there is, looks like the model number here, 153UH. Um, has both the black and kind of the olive drab kind of look to it. Um, so there we go with there. Now I do not know Uncle, I don't know anything about Uncle Henry. I don't know anything about BTI tools. My best guess, this might be something to do with fire starting since everything else was. So let's go ahead and pop this open and uh, we'll find out what it is. And, uh, you know, maybe we can get a chance to kind of play with it a little bit and see if we can figure out if it seems to be worth anything. Oh, well, it goes right into my field of play. I want to, before I get into the knife itself, I want to go ahead and glance over some of the, some of the paperwork that comes with it. Now, this, of course, was on the handle. Um, let's see. It says, caution for user and bystanders used with approved eye protection. So it's basically a word of warning, you know, be careful using this kind of thing. Um, we have got a little uh, warning here. This is for 
California, California Proposition 65 warning. Uh, I'm not going to go into that. If you are a California resident, you may want to look that one up. And then we have the, wow, okay, the instruction set here. And it looks, oh, it's the warranty. So we've got warranty, and it's written in a few different languages here. And then we've got the general care and things like that. Uh, now, this has a, a leather uh, type of uh, case here, um, a sheath, and obviously it has the simple snap over here. It has a simple belt loop. It doesn't have any other openings or anything on the back. Uh, the knife, of course, fits in, it fits in there pretty reasonably. And then we've got a section here, and it actually comes with a... Go ahead and do this so we can take it out. Um, it does come with a sharpening stone. Um, it's a pretty coarse one. Uh, could You can definitely get a good edge with this. I'd be worried. I mean, I, I don't know that I would want to try and get a shaving edge with this, but you could definitely get a good a good edge. You'd be able to slice through paper and everything like that. Uh, I think fairly easily with this. You know, don't don't use it dry. I wouldn't suggest. I mean, I think you would really rip through your blade quickly. Now, this the blade the blade itself. It's very nice looking. Uh, let's see if it, does it say it does have the model number on here. It is the one five three Umbrella Hotel. Uh, that being UH, and uh, let's see, on the other side, it does say Uncle Henry, and it does say Schrade, uh, so there you go there. It has a look sort of, I'm not sure what they're trying to simulate here with the handle. Um, it's very nice looking, it, it kind of makes me think of, of antler a little bit, but it also has this kind of burnt look to it, uh, almost like it's uh, a piece of... I mean, it's white base, so it's almost like a piece of ivory that's been burnt and kind of textured to look more like antler. Now, it does have a, uh, a brass pommel here on the end, and then you can see the uh, Phillips head screw that they used to tighten it down. So, uh, I'm sure there is a piece that goes all the way through that locks this in. I don't know if the blade, the tang on the blade, goes all the way through or if that's just a simple bar. Uh, it has some weight to it. It's a, uh, a nice long blade. I'm going to say that's... It's going to be about a six inch blade. Um, it's only about at the very back end here. I would say that's approximately one inch uh, from from the blade to the top here. And then of course that's a little slimmer down here, maybe down to more like a three quarters or five eighths of an inch uh, down at this lower section. Uh, obviously this is a straight blade all the way down, so that's pretty nice. It feels like it's got a pretty good, pretty good edge. Let's see if. Uh, Let's see how good of an edge it has. Mm, not too bad. Uh, I can I can cut the hair. Uh, it's definite. It's not quite shaving. Uh, I can't quite say that it's that it's all the way up to uh, shaving ability, but it's definitely very good. It did cut off quite a bit of the hair. It's it's a little bit ragged there. So uh, you know. Not bad though. Definitely, definitely a good edge on it. Uh, it's it's an it does have a nice feel. It's got you know a little bit of a weighted grip. I think this would be a good uh, hunting skinning knife. This box, I, I'm not going to say it was completely worth quite so long of a wait, but it was definitely worth getting the box. So at least in my opinion, uh, of course it's up to you guys. You guys need to decide what you like, what you want, and what you feel is uh, you know good to put in things like your go bag or your camping equipment or what you consider to be tactical enough for you. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. My name is Cougar. I am here with the world of me and another episode from our tack series. Uh, and you know, if you guys like this and uh, would like to check out some more boxes from uh, Crate Club if you want to take the shot. Go down there in the description below. We'll have the link to Crate Club as well as we've got a handful of social media outlets out there. You can uh, go check those out, see what we've got going on with some of our outlets there and on your way down or on your way back up, go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button. There's also going to be a little icon floating around. I think it's going to be somewhere around in here somewhere and uh, you know that'll uh, That'll let you know as long as you've got the bell icon set up for it. 
uh, when we have new videos coming out. Also, don't forget, hit that thumbs up button. Let's me know that you like the content, would like to see more. That's going to be it, guys. Again, my name is Cougar. I would like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.